Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mike with Wu Audio. This week's episode of Frequently Asked Questions, we're going to look at my work from home setup. So I'm going to show you the tech that I have on my desk and the audio gear that I use on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's move to my desk. All right, so we are here at my desk. So let's go with the chair first. This is the Herman Miller Set 2 chair. Uh, I really love it. I've been using this chair for almost two years, maybe even more now. And I sit on it all the time. It's phenomenal. It's very supportive. The mesh on the chair uh, creates that there's no uh, pressure point on your back or on your bum. Uh, so this is just basically com contours to your body. So very good chair. On my desk, I have the Apple Magic Mouse. Uh, it's not the most ergonomical mouse, but it is very good. It's, the tracking is very good, so I really like that. It's on a 3M uh, mouse pad. This is a, just a stick-on mouse pad. And then under here, I have the Apple Magic Keyboard, uh, the new aluminum and black version, silver and black version. And then I have the Magic Trackpad. So when I'm scrolling, I use the trackpad, moving the mouse cursor. And I use the mouse. So I'm a two-hand guy. <laughs> oh, this is the uh, tray that I bought from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for, for everyone. Um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not very well made by my standards, but uh, it does the job. And this desk is a IKEA standing desk. And to be truthful, I use it more sitting down, uh, but I can... Uh, pop it up if I want to and then not down here I have a foot pad so my headphones my daily driver is the Dyna V2 by Abyss really love this headphone very very good sound quality very comfortable and then I have the W7 third gen here with the Abyss uh, wired in 4.4 Pentacon balanced uh, very good setup uh, very simple you know it doesn't take up a lot of space and when I feel like using IEMs and stuff. I do like the sound of the WA-8 with IEMs as well. So I just uh, quickly switch over because they both use the standard USB-B connector. So back here I have the Nordost uh, USB cable and then I have the GPS Labs uh, power cable. And then I have um, Apple HomePod. They are the original, now discontinued HomePod. Uh, I have it in stereo mode, so I have two of them on my desk. Uh, they sound very good for a speaker that's so compact. The HomePod supports uh, Adobe Atmos as well, so when I'm not using earphones or headphones, uh, well, I can use the HomePod. And then I have the new Mac Studio. This is the M1 Ultra version. It's overkill for what I need, but I think uh, it should last me a long, long time. Uh, because it is overkill and then uh, this is the display is this is the Apple 32 inch Pro XDR display uh, as you can see here in at this distance 32 inch is just massive it's just I think it's a perfect size because all the windows that you can have on the 32 inch I really love the 6k resolution and I also love the reference profile does this monitor has uh, so I know that the color accuracy is true to uh, what professionals would use to, as a tool uh, to color grade photos or videos so I mean this monitor is certainly overkill for what I need uh, but it is uh, one of the best purchases that I've made in a long long time um, really really enjoy it I use it every day and then I have the Logitech webcam I have it tucked down here because I don't always use it for conference calls and stuff but when I do use it is this webcam is designed for the XDR so it just magnetically attaches to the XDR and then I just connect the cable to it the USB-C cable to it so it's very convenient for me to set up quickly and when I'm not using it so it can just disconnect it completely so I don't have to worry about privacy concerns and then back here, I have two cables. Uh, one is a Thunderbolt 4 cable, and then the other one is a Lightning 
cable uh, from Apple, both are connected directly to the Mac Studio uh, because it will give me the, the highest bandwidth and I'll take you around the Mac Studio. I have pretty much all the plugs connected and then I have um, the SanDisk uh, uh, SSD drive down there for all my music and it's connected to the Mac Studio as well. And I have a, a Seagate hard drive back here uh, that I use for backup. Uh, this monitor, as you can see here, is really nice because you can also uh, raise it higher. So if I'm on a, if I'm standing, I can raise up the monitor with just one finger because of the, the fancy Apple stand that is not included with the monitor. So over here, I have my AirPods Max that I occasionally use, uh, not too often, but it's here when I want to, and then. I have a picture of my, my dog that passed away unexpectedly last year. I'm very sad about that. And I have a, a light. This light has two different color proof temperature. So I use it when in the nighttime if I want to see something and I don't want to turn on the main lights. This light can also fold down so or, or be adjusted. And it's battery operated so I don't have to plug it in. It just charges via USB-C. And then my work phone, on the, this is a Pixel 3, uh, which I just use for, for work and is on a Pixel stand, charging stand. Um, and then there's the second HomePod that uh, is set up in stereo mode. And then I have um, a Belkin battery pack that I use to charge my AirPods and also the Apple Watch. Uh, and, you know, I have a USB-C cable here to charge my laptop or iPad Pro when I'm when I have that here in front of me uh, on occasion. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and tell your friends about us. If you have a question specific to your Wu Audio system, send us an email, and we'll try our best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see everyone in our next video.